A warm welcome to our deep thinkers tuning in today, ready to dive into the complex world of dark manipulation. Did you know manipulation isn't always obvious, it often comes cloaked in the guise of care or concern. A master manipulator can subtly weave their control into the fabric of a conversation, undetected. In fact, you may not even realize you're being manipulated until it's too late. Today, we're uncovering the 10 signs that you're dealing with dark manipulation. From the subtle, like implicit guilt tripping, to the overt, such as blatant gaslighting. We'll touch on tactics used in relationships, friendships, and even by bosses or family members. Stay tuned to equip yourself with the knowledge to identify and counteract manipulation. Let's start with the first three signs, gaslighting, constant guilt tripping, and isolation from others. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation where the manipulator makes the victim question their reality. Imagine a friend who consistently denies facts or experiences that you know to be true, leaving you doubting your own memory. That's gaslighting. It's a common technique used by manipulators to gain power and control over their victims. Moving on to the second sign, constant guilt tripping. This is when a person makes you feel guilty for things that you shouldn't be feeling guilty about. For instance, a coworker might make you feel bad for not helping them with a project, even though it's not your responsibility. Or a partner might make you feel guilty for spending time with friends or pursuing hobbies. It's a way for manipulators to make you feel indebted to them, creating a sense of obligation that they can exploit. Finally, the third sign of dark manipulation is isolation from others. This is a tactic where the manipulator tries to cut you off from your support system, making you more dependent on them. Picture a relationship where your partner discourages you from seeing your family or friends, or a boss who constantly assigns you tasks that keep you from interacting with your colleagues. These are attempts to isolate you, making it easier for the manipulator to control and influence you. These three signs, gaslighting, constant guilt tripping and isolation from others, are classic techniques used by manipulators. They're subtle, often going unnoticed until it's too late. But by being aware of these signs, you can protect yourself from falling into their trap. If these sound familiar, you might be dealing with a manipulator. Moving on, we have the next three signs, love bombing, constant criticism, and the victim card. Let's delve into love bombing first. It's a tactic commonly used by manipulators. They shower you with affection and attention, making you feel special only to switch gears abruptly. You could be dating someone who in the beginning seemed too good to be true. They were all over you, making grand gestures until one day they weren't. They pulled away, leaving you in a state of confusion, craving that initial affection. This is love bombing, my friends, a classic sign of dark manipulation. Next, we have constant criticism. In a professional setting, you might have a boss who never seems satisfied with your work. Every progress report, every meeting, every email, they have something to nitpick. You might start doubting your capabilities, thinking you're not good enough. But let's be crystal clear here, this is not about your performance. This is about their need to exert control, to make you feel small so they can feel big. It's another sign of manipulation, subtle but very damaging. Finally, we have the victim card. This one is quite popular in all sorts of relationships. A manipulative person will often play the victim to elicit sympathy or to evade responsibility. For instance, you might have a friend who's always in some sort of crisis and somehow, it's never their fault. They're always the innocent party, the victim of circumstances or so they would have you believe. They use their victim status to manipulate you into doing what they want, be it providing emotional support, money, or simply attention. These tactics can leave you feeling confused and worn down, but understanding them is the first step in combating dark manipulation. So, let's keep exploring, shall we? Finally, the last four signs, emotional blackmail, controlling behavior, projecting their own behavior onto you, and silent treatment. Let's dive into the deep end with emotional blackmail. It's a form of psychological manipulation where someone uses guilt, fear, and obligation to control you. Picture this, a friend repeatedly threatens to end the friendship unless you always agree with them. They're using your fear of losing the relationship to control your actions, a classic sign of emotional blackmail. Next we have controlling behavior. This isn't just about someone wanting things their way, it's about them needing to have power over you, to dictate your actions and feelings. Imagine a boss who micromanages every aspect of your work, not because they want the best results, but because they feel a need to exert dominance. That's controlling behavior. Then, there's the sign of manipulators projecting their own behavior onto you. This is when they accuse you of the very things they're guilty of. 
For instance, a manipulative coworker might accuse you of slacking off when in reality, they're the ones avoiding work. It's a deflection tactic designed to shift focus away from their own behavior. Finally, we come to the silent treatment. It's a manipulative tool often used to punish, to exert control, or to avoid accountability. Consider a family member who stops talking to you because you confronted them about something they did wrong. They're using silence as a weapon, a way to manipulate the situation to their advantage. These signs are all red flags that you're dealing with a master manipulator. Remember, it's not about blaming or shaming anyone, but about understanding these patterns so we can navigate our relationships with wisdom and caution. Because after all, awareness is the first step towards change. So, those were the 10 signs of dark manipulation, but what can we do about it? Let's do a quick recap. We started by recognizing the manipulator's tendency to play the victim card, to make you feel guilty or obligated. Then, we moved on to the subtle art of gaslighting, where the manipulator would make you question your own reality, your own perceptions. The third sign was the manipulator's inconsistent behavior, the unpredictable swings from kindness to cruelty. Fourth, we delved into the manipulator's skill of playing on your insecurities, using them as a tool to control and influence you. Next, we discussed the manipulator's keen ability to isolate you from your support network, making you more dependent on them. The sixth sign was the manipulator's knack for creating a sense of urgency, making you feel like you need to make decisions quickly, without proper thought. Moving on, we discussed the manipulator's tendency to project their own feelings and actions onto you. The eighth sign was the manipulator's ability to play on your fears, using them as a weapon to control you. The ninth sign was the manipulator's refusal to take responsibility for their actions, always shifting the blame onto others. Lastly, we highlighted the manipulator's tendency to make you feel like you're always in the wrong, constantly belittling and criticizing you. Now that we've recapped the signs, let's discuss potential ways to deal with these manipulative individuals. Firstly, trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Do not ignore your gut feelings. Secondly, set clear boundaries. It's important to communicate what you are and aren't comfortable with. Thirdly, seek support. Whether it's a trusted friend, a family member, or a professional counselor, it's crucial to have someone to talk to, someone who can provide you with a fresh perspective. Fourthly, remember that it's okay to say no. You are not obligated to meet every demand or request. Fifthly, educate yourself. The more you know about manipulation tactics, the better equipped you are to recognize and combat them. And lastly, take care of your mental and emotional health. It's crucial to maintain a strong sense of self and to practice self-care. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the better equipped you are to deal with manipulation. We hope this video has been enlightening and helpful. Your engagement helps us create more enlightening content. So give us a thumbs up if you found value here, drop a comment with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you deep thinkers for watching. Stay tuned for more insightful content.